What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for the super quick video and today we'll have a quick recap on Vice Grip Batch. It's been 9 months since the last time I made a video about it and I read a lot of comments and I think there's a lot of misconceptions about this batch. So in this video here, I'll try to clarify some things. And by the way, 2K24 is around the corner, so I'm trying to wrap things up and make the last push of contents. So if you want me to cover something or retest something, please let me know in the comment section down below. So now let's get right into it. So for this one, first part will be a recap on how it works, and second part will be about the misconceptions, and at the end I'll give my recommendation if your build really needs it. So now for the definition, increases a player's ability to secure the ball against a steal attempt after obtaining a possession from a rebound, catch, or loose ball. So after lots of testings, here are the things that I found out. First one, it works on rebound, but since the badge will help you to prevent steals, you will only see it activate when there's an opponent close to you. And here you can see, you got the rebound, you got an opponent close to you, so badge will activate. But in here, you got a rebound but your opponent is not close, so badge won't activate. Which kinda makes sense to be honest because why would the badge activate if there's no threat for a steal? So the moment the badge activates, it means that your ball security will be higher. I'm not too sure though how long the effects can last, but safe to say it should be at least around couple of seconds. Next one, it works as well on your normal catches, or even on your entry passes on the post. But same thing as the last one, you will only see it activate when there's an opponent close to you. And here you can see, if there's no threat for a steal, badge won't activate, but if you got an opponent nearby, it will activate. Same thing on the post, if the opponent is far from you like this one, it's not going to activate, but the moment you engage on a contact, badge will activate. Now for the second part, what are the misconceptions? First one, lots of people think that it works like Glue Hands Badge. That's not true, it's a totally different badge. Glue Hands Badge is for better catch animations and make you transition to the next move much faster, and Vice Grip Badge is for protecting the ball as you receive the ball. Here's one of the functions of Glue Hands Badge. On catch and shoots, the higher your Glue Hands Badge, the faster the transition you got from the catch to the actual shot. Vice Grip Badge doesn't do this. Now, this part here is just to make the case stronger, that Vice Grip Badge doesn't concern the catch animations. This one here is not a concrete proof, but it will make sense. So if you're still not convinced that it doesn't touch your catch animations, you need to hear me out on this one. First one, don't you wonder why the opponent must be near to you for the badge to activate? It's just a sign that the function of the badge includes an opponent. So if it's really like a Glue Hands Badge, then it should work even without the opponent. That's how Glue Hands Badge activated. Next one, if you check the roster, pretty much all bigs have it on high level. So it means that it's really a badge built for bigs. Which makes sense to be honest because after a rebound, it will protect you from steals. I'm not saying that it's only for bigs, guards can have it as well of course. What I'm trying to say here is that it's more for bigs. Next one, if it's really a glue hands badge, then why Clay Thompson and Kawhi doesn't have it? Last year, they both have glue hands badge, just to prove that it's a different badge. And again, Glue Hands Badge is for better animations, and Vice Grip Badge is more for protection. And by the way, for those who are wondering, where does the functionality of Glue Hands Badge really went? It is actually still in the game, it's the hand rating, which is tied up to your ball handles. For more info about it, just check this video here on the channel. So now for the next misconception, some players think that it's a great help on alley-oop dunks, because it activates. Actually, there's a small chance that it could be true, but not in a way that some players think. Some say that it actually helps on making the actual dunk, and some players think as well that it helps you on catching the ball. I don't think those are true. I think what it does is the moment you catch the ball, the badge will protect you from steals. Pretty much the same idea with other functions. The moment you catch the ball, through a pass or a rebound, it will prevent steals. Same idea as well, if there's an opponent nearby, it will activate, but not if there's no one. Making the case stronger that it's all about protecting the ball. The thing about it though is, when was the last time you caught a lob clean, then suddenly, at this point, someone stole the ball. I'm not talking about someone cut you off the lane, so you failed to gather correctly. I don't think Vice Grip Badge affects it. I'm talking about a steal after you catch it clean. I can't remember anything like that. Maybe it could happen, but I haven't experienced it. I even think that the activation could be just a glitch that 2K didn't mean it to activate on the lob. It just happened that, on the logic of the program, it says that if you catch the ball off a pass or rebound, and there's an opponent nearby, then activate the badge. It really fits alley-oop dunks, but in reality, it won't do anything in that case. So I think the alley-oop activation of this badge doesn't matter much. So what I'm trying to say here in this misconception part is that 
Yeah, you can put the badge if you really want. We all know there could be some cases that as you secure the ball in rebounds or on the normal pass, ball gets stolen. But don't ever think that this badge works like Gluhan's badge. That it helps you on getting better catch animations and securing alley-oops. Let it influence you on deciding if you will ever equip this badge or how much you want to put on it. And now for the recommendation, I already broke down to you how it really works so I think you can decide for yourself. But just for a rough recommendation, it's safe to say that if you're a big man, it's a must-have at least silver. Especially now that steals are kinda OP. If a guard missed the rebound or whoever, usually they just spam steal. I don't recommend it that much for guards though because you're not going to rebound that much anyway. And if you stole the ball and the opponent wants to steal it back, you have high ball handles anyway which means more ball security. So it's not really that important. One more point is that you're a guard so maybe there's some other more important playmaking badges than this one. But if you have spare points then why not? It still has some use. So that's all for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.